dead reaction in which atom or group of atom is replaced by another atom or group of atom is known as radical substitution reaction. The best example for radical substitution reaction is chlorination of methane. If we add chlorine gas to methane, so what will be the product? So let's discuss. First we will look at the general product of chlorination of methane that we have methane CH4 gas and we add Cl2. It gives us a product which is carbon tetrachloride C Cl4. But there is a complete mechanism behind this product. Now we will discuss that mechanism. So we have that mechanism divided into three parts. The first one is initiation step, the second one is propagation step, and the third one is terminating step. In first step, what happened? In initiation step, we have chlorine molecule, which is Cl2. Okay. This we have chlorine molecule. In chlorine molecule, homolytic fission takes place. Homolytic fission means that both the bonded atoms get the same number of electrons, get their bonded electron. So under ultraviolet radiation, when we fast UV radiation, the homolytic, will, homolytic fission will take place and each chlorine will get their electron. And in this way, we will get two chlorine radicals which is this the product we get is two chlorine radical so this was all about initiation step in which we get generally two chlorine radical the second step is propagation step is in the reaction there is ch4 gas so now dead radical is also present in the reaction so what will happen this radical will attack on CH4 gas on methane so this we have CH4 and this is chlorine radical so chlorine radical will get carbon from methane and in this way it will make CH3 radical methyl radical plus HCl gas so here CH3 mean methyl radical is pumped and HCl gas is pumped now this CH3 which is methyl radical will attack on another chlorine molecule if this methyl radical attack on another chlorine molecule so it will make CH3 Cl plus chlorine radical. This is clear from the diagram. It will make CH3 Cl plus chlorine radical. But this is basically a chain reaction. It does not stop until it goes to product or when two radical combine with each other. And that step is the third step, which is known as terminating step in terminating step basically what happened chlorine radical combined with chlorine radical and it gives us chlorine molecule CH3 methyl radical is also formed which will combine with another methyl radical and it will give us CH3 CH3 ethane and the another possibility is methyl radical will combine with chlorine radical free radical and it will give us ch3 cl so in this way we get ch3 cl but this reaction will not stop at ch3 cl it will move until the whole hydrogen is replaced by chlorine so how, what will happen first we have CH4 and we add Cl2. So we get CH3 Cl plus HCl. Now this CH3 Cl will again react with 
another chlorine molecule. And it will give us CH2, Cl2 plus HCl, which is methylene chloride. It will give us methylene chloride plus HCl. Now this methylene chloride will again react with another chlorine gas. And it will give us chloroform, which is also known as trichloromethane, which has three chlorine. So it will give us CHCl3 plus HCl. Now there is only one hydrogen atom, so there is only one last step, which is CHCl3 react with again with another chlorine, and the hydrogen will be replaced in this step. So it will give us carbon tetrachloride CCl4 and plus HCl. So in this way we get carbon tetrachloride through chlorination of methane. Now if Cl2 is in excess in a reaction. Cl2 is in excess. So the whole reaction will go to completion. And that is known as total synthesis. And if CH4 is in excess, then and Cl2 is not in excess, then the reaction will not go to completion and the reaction will uh, partially stop at um, the mid. And the product will be either C3Cl. CH2Cl2 or CHCl3. So this was the whole mechanism of chlorination of methane. Thanks for watching.